Hello everyone. So I haven't did an update in a while when I decided to start stop working and when my cat died I, I did an update talking about both those things and I kind of just wanted to I wanted to do another update because some stuff has been happening some new things have been happening in my life and also I haven't been uploading as much as usual and I also said that I was going to take the opportunity of being quarantined to do, start doing live streams, which I I did a couple music live streams, but that was that was pretty much it. And I did those on Facebook, so you guys didn't even really have access to them. But um, yeah, there's some stuff that I wanted to talk about, and I feel like it's time to talk about it. The main thing why I haven't been uploading as much is because I've been a little distracted. Plus, I have been dealing with mental health issues lately. But yeah, the main thing <laughs> is something that might not come as a surprise to you because seeing as some of the songs that I've been writing and uploading lately, I haven't actually said what they were about in my description like I usually do because I wasn't quite ready to talk about it. But uh, those songs were like, it was pretty obvious what was going on if you paid attention to the lyrics. But I am finally ready to talk about it um, and I, I want to stop being very secretive about it. I am in a relationship for the first time. I'm 26 now and I have never been in a relationship. I did talk about this briefly in one of my older vlogs a while ago. I can't remember when I talked about it, but yeah, I have never been in a relationship before. Um, I have dated a little bit here and there. A couple years ago, I did go on a few dates with someone, but now I'm actually in a relationship for the first time. And it's very strange, and I'm still not used to it, even though we actually have been dating for six months now. I just didn't want to talk about it because I wanted to get to know him more and wait until things settled a little bit. Also, it is my first relationship, so I was like really nervous about telling people about it, um, except family and some friends, close friends. And I honestly didn't expect to get this far, which sounds a little sad, but um, I have also, I've seen a lot of relationships fall apart. Having this much, um, having someone who wants to be with me is strange to me because no one has ever, like even in high school and middle school, no one ever asked me out. So I was like, that made me kind of, I feel like it was good. In some ways it was good for me not to have dated back then because I feel like I was a completely different person and I'm a lot stronger now, but back then I would have probably fallen apart because those relationships probably wouldn't have lasted and they would have wrecked me. Yeah, those relationships never last and, uh, well, m almost never last. And so I'm, in some ways, I'm glad that, that I never had a relationship back then, but at the same time, it kind of changed the, the way I saw myself and, uh, kind of made me think negatively about myself and my looks, especially since I lo saw a lot of other people dating around me, friends and, um, uh, my sister. So it's, like, made me think that there was something wrong with me. So yeah, I, uh, now I, I kind of, in some ways, I thought that this could never happen for me because I thought I wasn't attractive enough, honestly, and that nobody just n never had any interest in me. But someone did. Yeah, and uh, it's been hard for me to grasp that. I'm getting used to it now. I'm feeling more secure, but I have been feeling anxious a little bit because I'm keep expecting it to not work out. But yeah, I have I have felt anxious about the relationship a little bit just because it's I'm being treated very well, <laughs> which is good and I'm happy, but I've been like second guessing that happiness a little bit, which is sad cuz I just want to be happy. I don't want to second guess it. I want to just stay in the present and just enjoy it for what it is right now. 
There is a possibility of it not working out, but I kind of, I just want to enjoy it right now um, while I have it. But yeah, I am in my first relationship and I'm not going to say who it is. If we're very close, then you probably already know about it, but, and you already, probably already know who it is. But yeah, I'm not going to say who it is yet, and I'm not going to introduce him anytime soon, if ever, actually, because I don't know. <laughs> not sure how he feels about being in a YouTube video. He's okay with me having a YouTube channel, that's fine, but he's still not sure how he feels about actually being in a YouTube video, so maybe I'll be able to introduce him at some point, maybe not, I don't know. I'm not going to force him though, if he's not, doesn't feel comfortable. So there's that. But yeah, I'm really happy, even though I have been, had times where I've been anxious. I am doing a little bit better now, but other than that, I, I'm, I'm really happy and um, I really like him and I feel like we fit really well together. And uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to say about it for right now. You can ask me questions about him if you want in the comments, but for right now, that's that's all I'm going to say. Maybe I'll talk about him more in the future if I do another update or another vlog or whatever. Or maybe I'll talk him, start talking about him a little bit more in my, my Let's Plays as well. Who knows? But yeah, that, that's the biggest thing going on in my life right now. And that is why I've been a little distracted. I've been trying to get back into focusing on my YouTube channel because I know I need to focus more on myself and I shouldn't be so distracted all the time. But the other reason why I haven't been uploading as much is also just because of my mental health. Not just because I've been distracted with my relationship, but also because I've been... My mental health hasn't been very good sometimes. Yeah, it's it's been a little hard because I've been feeling anxious because of the relationship sometimes and then I've also been feeling depressed sometimes and I've been trying not to but sometimes I've been beating up myself up for not getting stuff done and then I'm I kind of get into a spiral where I'm like I haven't been working on my YouTube channel for a while I haven't been recording for a while or whatever and I haven't been uploading and I get really depressed because I'm like well now what's the point because I've I haven't worked on it in such a long time like I don't know I just get I just get really depressed which makes me not want to do it even more so but I'm trying to be better about letting myself off the hook and understand that sometimes I need to need to focus on my mental health. Sometimes that means pushing myself to work on stuff anyways because I need to feel productive and then other times it means just sitting on the couch playing video games or watching stuff. So I'm trying to just let myself off the hook of that. It is hard though because I'm for a really really long time I've beaten myself up for not getting stuff done. And then the other thing is uh, live streams. I said that I was going to start doing live streams. Well, I said I hope I'm going to start doing live streams. And I haven't done any since quarantine started. And now I'm actually going back to work. I started going back to work a couple weeks ago. I'm not really sure what's going to happen with that because we're going my state is going back to phase one. So I might stop working at some point um or i might i or i might still work i'm not sure yeah so i've i have no idea what's gonna happen with that but yeah i haven't done any live streams except for i did a couple facebook lives um i did a couple facebook music live streams but that was way in the back of in the beginning of quarantine and then i didn't do anything else Honestly, the reason I haven't done gaming live streams is for multiple reasons. Because of my mental health, because of getting back into work, because of getting behind on my YouTube schedule, so I want to get back on top of that. I want to get back on top of my YouTube schedule before starting to do gaming live streams on Twitch. Because I want, I don't want to get behind on my YouTube channel. Which, I mean, I already have been. But... I, I still, I'm, I don't want to get too far behind in my YouTube channel. So, 
I wa I've wanted to wait until I was on top of my YouTube schedule before starting to live stream. But music, I don't really have an excuse for that really. Part of it, I guess, was because I ha I have to do it in the living room. I have to live live stream in the living room, and I'm finding a time to do that when my sister is not gonna be in the living room is a little hard because we also she's been live streaming as well. But we can't really live stream at the same time, and yeah, I have to find a time that she's recording or editing in her room. So figuring that out, I guess, has been hard. Yeah, but I I really hope to start doing that soon. Maybe by now I have up, at least done a music live stream, but I don't want to make any promises that I can't keep because I'm kind of failing at my my resolution. <laughs> my resolution was to actually do stuff and not just say I'm going to do it, which I kind of have been doing a lot of talking. <laughs> I've been doing too much talking. I've been talking about a lot of things that I want to do and not actually getting to them. Because there are a lot of things that I said I was going to do during quarantine, but I never got to doing them. But I did make that New Year's resolution back when I thought the world was going to be normal, <laughs> um, was going to stay normal. So yeah, the pandemic kind of um, changed things a bit. Yeah, that's the other thing I wanted to talk about was quarantine. And pandemic I yeah my mental health that's the other reason why my mental health has been kind of bad because some weeks some days I've been okay some days I felt super productive but then other days I felt really depressed because of the pandemic I do miss a lot of stuff right now I miss going out to eat with my family which is something that we used to do all the time I miss just going and visiting my parents at their house which we haven't done since the pandemic happened. I miss going to movies. I haven't gone to a movie in a long time. I miss, I really miss traveling. I want to get back to traveling because that's something that I, I love to do. And I love, I love traveling and vlogging my experience for you guys. I've been really missing editing <laughs> those kind of vlogs, but I don't have any right now because I haven't been able to go on a trip. <laughs> Yeah, and then things like uh, looking at Facebook and seeing, I've like been wanting to stay informed about what is going on in the world, but at the same time, if I look at social media for too much, for too long, um, sometimes I get really depressed because the world seems awful right now. There's like a, <laughs> there has to be a balance between staying informed and letting it depress me and make me feel like uh, what's the point in anything which is what I've been feeling a lot lately also the protests going on and the police brutality that has also been depressing me as well although I am I feel like as a white person a person of white privilege I have been blind I guess, or ignorant, because I've been looking the other way for too long, I feel like. And not that this, like, I know that I will never understand, like, what people of color go through on a day-to-day -day basis. But as someone who is an empath, and I feel things very, very deeply, seeing injustice, or just has been making me depressed, especially when it was first happening, back when all the protests started, seeing all the br police brutality that was going on during that, just uh, made me feel awful about the world and kind of made me feel lose faith in people, just in general. I'm doing a little bit better now because I, and like, on one hand, <laughs> I was losing faith in humanity because of what the police were doing. But on the other hand, I was also <laughs> having more faith in people because of seeing everybody come together with all of the protests and seeing how many people were actually at the protests. And that was pretty amazing. But yeah, with all of that going on in the world, my mental health hasn't really been the best and I'm trying to let myself off the hook and not 
beat myself too much for not getting stuff done and being as productive as I wanted to be. I'm trying to let myself off the hook of that, but it is hard. But um, in other news, I have been trying to work on myself a little bit more. So I am, I have been doing stuff. I haven't been just sitting on the couch watching stuff and looking at my phone this whole time. And I haven't been just preoccupied with my boyfriend, even though I have been a little distracted with that. But also I have been working on myself a little bit more. I've started therapy, which has been really good. And I've started reading some self-help books and I've started journaling and I've started meditation and I feel like all these things have been helping me in a lot of ways. And then the last thing that I want to share with you guys is that in my last update I was talking about how my cat had passed away. Boots. If you've seen him in my vlogs in the past, my big fluffy kitty, he passed away at the beginning of quarantine. It was, it was actually a little bit before quarantine happened. But I was really sad about it for a while. I'm still sad about it. I still miss him. But I also, I, I wanted to get a new kitty. And I, I didn't know when that was going to happen because of quarantine. But I was able to get a new kitty. Her name is Jojo. And she is very cute, and she is very wild and uh, playful. She loves to play. She gets kind of crazy sometimes. She runs around the apartment. She gets into a little bit of trouble sometimes, but she's also very affectionate. And she's a kitten, so it's kind of, kind of comes with the territory. <laughs> but she's, she's very cute. And beautiful and I will show her to you in just a second but yeah I had a friend of a friend had to rehome her and I decided to go and check her out and see if she would be a good fit for us and she was and um, she gets along really well with mango they play together a lot they're very cute together and they, they say hi to each other she hisses at him sometimes but that's usually just when they're like she's getting too into playing but yeah she's very cute i'm gonna show her to you this is the jojo she's so cute oh she's looking at the camera you see herself she does not like being held very much yeah so i don't know how much you're actually going to see of her in my videos but if i were to do like a home vlog or something you definitely see her. <laughs> She's very cute. Um, and I'm very glad to have her. <laughs> she definitely has helped me during this time. She's very good at distracting me if I'm upset. <laughs> but that is pretty much all that I want to talk about in this video. A lot has been going on lately. And I am planning on... I don't want to make any promises I can't keep. But uh, I'm hoping to start live streaming on Twitch um, very soon. Hopefully I've already done my first music live stream on Twitch, but if not, hopefully I'll, I will be doing it very, very soon. But yeah, I think that's all that I wanted to talk about in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please go and check out some other videos that I've done down in the description below. I've done Let's Plays and music. I've uploaded videos with me playing music. I've done vlogs and travel vlogs if you want to go check those out. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I do a lot of, I have a lot of content on my channel and I plan on keeping up with that <laughs> by uploading, um, I plan on uploading even more <laughs> very soon. So you should subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you so much for watching. You'll see me next time with another video. Bye-bye.